Hey everybody, it's Tony from Rock Interface with another how-to video. We're going to cover using the Sakamiya Site Manager to establish a VNC connection between two computers. This is the computer we're remoting into via VNC. We installed the Titan VNC server. I'm sure your IT guy will have his own strong opinions on what a VNC server to use. We just picked this one because it was free and available online. Now let's set it up. Um, the only thing that I changed from the default settings is I set a password. You always want to have that set up because otherwise anyone can remote into your computer that has internet access and that's not great. So, And then we need to set a static IP address on our computer on the ethernet port. That's what we're using to connect to the Sakamiya site manager. So I open the control panel, go to network and sharing center, change adapter settings, Double click on Ethernet, go to IPv4, and then switch it from DHCP to static. So we pick that, and I'm just going to give it 192.168.0.50, and then leave the subnet net mask that way, and I leave the default gateway blank. That should be fine. Go into Task Manager via Control Alt Delete, and make sure that it's up and running. Looks good. And then the last step to set up the computer we're VNCing into is to set up the firewall to let tight VNC connect. So we go to the firewall, we hit change settings, allow another app, hit browse. If you're using tight VNC, this is where you would point it to the TVN server application. If you're using a different server, you're gonna have to find where the executable is located and choose that for the firewall hit add and now it has access oh and uh, i set up for private and public so make sure both of those are checked hit ok now this computer is completely set up and ready to go so the next step is to set up the Sekamiya site manager and put an agent in it so it is set up to provide the VNC service to our computer we want to connect to. Sakamiya has actually provided a step-by-step -step instruction set, which we are going to provide a link to in our description of the video. I'm in the gate manager for Sakamiya, which is their website for configuring site manager. So this is our site manager here, Rock Demo V2. It's got a check mark next to it so we know it's online. There's currently no agent set up for this so we hit site manager GUI we're skipping past a few uh, basic setup steps here where we'd use appliance launcher to set up Sikamiya for initial setup uh, I set this up to connect to the Wi-Fi so that's another step we're skipping we're gonna have an upcoming video on this so stay tuned we're gonna set up our device agent this is where we put in the settings to connect to our destination computer hit new and then we want to call this VNC computer. Change this from log title client to device. Now we put in the IP address that we set up on the Ethernet port 192.168.0.50. Then you hit this little, looks like a person's finger on a page. Click enable VNC service, click always on, hit save, hit back, make sure that it's in there. All right, that looks great. Now our site manager is set up and ready to go. So you can see it's now in there as VNC computer and the VNC button is now here because we clicked that checkbox. Now we just need to connect this computer to the site manager and then test it out. Okay, so we set up the computer we want to connect to. We put the IP address in it. We started up the VNC server, put in the exception for the firewall. We put in a password for the VNC server. Um, we've got our ethernet cable connected from the ethernet port to the Sakamiya site manager on the DAV1 port. And then on the gate manager side, we set up the agent we enable the VNC service and we put in the IP address that it needs. 
Now you can see Rock Demo has a green check mark. VNC computer has a green check mark. Now all we have to do is hit the VNC button and enter in the password that we put into the server. Hit send password. And it said at the top for a split second we're connected. And you can't see the desktop. For some reason it makes the desktop black. I think a lot of different like team viewer and other options do that too. But you can see my cursor is moving around when I move the mouse around. Now we have a text document. Let's see if it works. Test one, two, three. Yay. It works. Now that's all we had to do. There's other VNC viewers you can use. You don't have to use the one that's built into the gate manager. Um, you just need to type in that same IP address. The, in our case, it was 192.168.050. And then it should have a pop-up where you put in the password. And then it'll bring up a viewer just like you see in this browser. And that's really all there is to it. It's pretty simple. Have a nice day, everyone.